Hello everyone. Welcome to the next video in the GCP hands-on learning series. In this particular video, we will go ahead and try to understand what are the different types of IAM roles available in Google Cloud. We'll also try to understand how do you go ahead and create a custom role and then how does role inheritance actually works in a GCP organization and what are those things which you should keep in mind uh, to go ahead and do the role allocation correctly right so first of all let's try to understand the definition of what is an IAM role as a concept you have to understand that IAM role is just a set of permissions right it is basically a collection of permissions what sort of permissions permissions to allow you to do something right take an example maybe you want to go ahead and launch a VM or you want to go ahead and delete a VM or start a VM or stop a VM right all of these things are different actions right and you need permission to be able to go ahead and do that right so an IAM role is nothing but collection of those permissions right now within Google Cloud if you want to allow someone or if you want to allow a principal to be able to go ahead and do something that principal needs to have the necessary permissions what are the possible principles it could be a user it could be a group or it could be a service account right but they won't be able to do something unless until they have got the relevant permission to do that right and the way you go ahead and give them permission is via IAM role you go ahead and allocate them an IAM role right now what are the different types of IAM roles the first type is basic it is also called it was also called primitive uh, then you have got predefined and you have got custom so we'll go ahead and try to understand all three of them one by one and we'll see it as well you know in the console that how does it work so the first type which is basically the basic IAM roles right so you have got viewer editor and owner as the name suggests you might be able to guess viewer is someone or viewer is basically a role which allows you only the read type of actions right you cannot go ahead and do any changes in the state of any resource for example you can go ahead and uh, look at the properties of a vm but you might not be able to change its machine type or you cannot go ahead and start it or stop it right so you cannot basically do any sort of modification you can go ahead and look at the things look at the resources that is allowed now you need to understand one thing very properly these basic IAM roles they are applicable to all the resources within the project right so it doesn't matter in my Google Cloud project I have got a couple of VMs I've got storage bucket I've got some database right if somebody is somebody has been granted a viewer role that person will be able to go ahead and look at all the resources in that project right you cannot restrict that person to go ahead and let's say operate on one pro on one resource and not be able to you know operate on the other resource as you move ahead you look at editor now editor is one step further of course the this role allows uh, a user to go ahead and look at everything in addition to that in addition to those viewer permissions right this role also allows you to go ahead and change the state of resources which means you can do modification so let's say you want to start a VM you want to stop a VM you want to create a new VM all of those things would be possible you can really change the state of the resources or attributes of the resources using editor role but there are a couple of things which you cannot do using editor role which comes with the third one which is of course the highest role you can think of which is the owner role in case of owner role additionally you get two things ability to go ahead and manage IAM identity and access management and billing aspects of the project which means on your Google project right Google Cloud project if you want to go ahead and let's say associate a billing account or you want to unlink a billing account and you know link a new billing account those things only owner role can go ahead and do that in the same way granting somebody access right how will you go ahead and grant somebody access by going ahead and allocating 
a role within your project right so that is something which only which only owner can do viewer and editor cannot go ahead and do that let me just show you these roles in the console quickly now here you can see i'm logged in to my google cloud account and just see the word c here just see the character c here it it will help you remember that which window i'm using this is a particular um, account which says cloud easy right so i've got you know couple of uh, projects here like app 2 app 1 and app 1 dev these are the three projects which we will look at during this particular demo now if you go ahead and see let me go ahead and show you the project app 2 for a moment right so i'll go to app 2 and i just want to show you that what sort of uh, you know role allocation i've done here now you can see i'm there in the app 2 project and looking at the im part you can see here i've got an admin at cloudeasy.au which is the current user with which i'm logged in here this particular user has got owner role and also has got an organization administrator role this is a predefined role which we will discuss next now look at the other user which is knowledgeindia.in at gmail.com this particular user has been given editor role right so let's say if i go ahead and log in with this particular user this user would be able to come and do all the changes look at everything but cannot go ahead and do any change in the im part right for example while i'm logged in as this cloud easy user i can go ahead and edit this right because i have im permissions i have got owner role but let me now show you the other one here is the other window you can see here at the top ki so basically i'm logged in as knowledgeindia.in at gmail.com in this particular window and here also you can see i'm operating in the project app 2 here if i try to go ahead and edit i cannot do that because i don't have those permissions though i have though i have got editor role edit with editor role i can go ahead and basically play with resources right so for example if i go to vm instances i can go ahead and probably launch a new vm i can go ahead and do a start stop of vm that is possible let's see we have got a vm here which is currently in the stopped state i'll go ahead and try to start this let's see if it works looks like it is working so this is getting started we will see the success message here in few seconds right currently it is trying to start this but if i go ahead and try to edit anything in the im part that is of course disabled you can go ahead and see the instance has been started now so i hope you understand what's the difference between editor and owner right before we move ahead from the basic im roles one thing you need to understand it is not recommended for you to go ahead and use the basic im roles in the production environment what's the reason for that the reason is because these roles actually grant access on all the resources in a project which would not be which would not be an ideal thing right uh, hence it is okay to get started with this but you should not be uh, using the basic im roles in a production scenario so what should you use you should go with predefined im roles yes so what are predefined im roles these are you know certain im roles which are created by google already for you and they give granular access to specific google cloud resources for example you will see that there is a predefined im role which just allows you to go ahead and do activities or actions related to compute vms and then you have another predefined im role which allows you to go ahead and basically take actions on storage buckets right not only that you can go ahead and see that we'll have predefined im roles where you will have different level of uh, you know different level of actions or permissions uh, given uh, for a particular service which means let's say within compute service you will have a role which allows you to go ahead and view all the resources it also allows you to go ahead and create or delete the resources right you will have both types of roles so one which allows only 
only viewing rights and the one which allows you to change everything right and the good thing here is google automatically updates the permissions of these roles because these are created and maintained by google so let's say a new service now starts supporting a new action right it may happen because cloud world just keeps evolving right new features get added so when a particular new feature is launched by google they will go ahead and update the definition of these predefined im roles on their own you don't need to worry about it and the good thing is while you are allocating the roles to a particular user or to a particular principal you can go ahead and do a combination right which means you can go ahead and grant multiple im roles multiple predefined im roles to a particular user okay so and of course you can go ahead and select any level in the resource hierarchy so let me show you some of the predefined im roles so that you start understanding it better let me go back here and i will go to roles okay now here on the left hand side when you click on roles you will be able to see all the roles which are available of course if i scroll down and show you we have got like 1232 roles right okay now within this if you go ahead and let's say let me filter it for you uh, you know for the compute service so what i can do i can search for used in and i will type compute and i'll go ahead and select compute engine because that's the service i'm interested in so as as soon as i do that you can see now i've got 39 roles right so related to compute engine service there are 39 predefined roles which exist now if you see within this you will have a role like compute admin you also have a role like uh, compute viewer right just by looking at the name you'll be able to understand that admin probably allows you to go ahead and do everything whereas viewer would go ahead and allow you to just view at the resource you know just view the properties of the resources it would not allow you to go ahead and do any change how do you understand that really so look at the definition here okay let's open this let me open both of these right so here we have compute admin role which is a predefined im role and if you look at it for compute admin we have got 651 assigned permissions right who has assigned this google google is google has created these im roles and google is maintaining it as well now just if you want you can scroll down and read all of this but if you try to search stop you can see this particular role allows you to go ahead and stop the instance because compute.instances.stop which means it allows you to go ahead and stop the vms the basically the compute instances you can go ahead and stop them right that's what this particular permission means if you search for delete right so you will find instances delete as well which this is which is what we are interested currently so uh, let me just show you in this way if i search for instances dot delete you can see that we have instances dot delete as well so which means this particular role allows you to go ahead and delete the v the vms or instances it allows you to go ahead and stop it start it all sort of things you can go ahead and do whereas if i go ahead and look at the viewer right compute viewer and if i search for instances dot delete of course you don't have it available right you can go ahead and look at it you if you look at all these permissions it allows you to look at all the properties but it does not allow you to go ahead and let's say change the state of your resource you cannot go ahead and uh, uh, you know delete the vm you cannot go ahead and create a new vm all those type of things are not allowed that's what you understand with the term compute viewer so we understood that there are different predefined roles available and they are specific to different services for example currently i have filtered it here for compute engine in the same way if i want to go ahead and look at the roles which are there for uh, for storage you know for cloud storage i can go ahead and do that now for cloud storage i've got comparatively lesser number of roles probably some nine ten roles so i can go ahead and look at the thing so you what what it helps is or, or what it allows you to do is that you can go ahead and select those predefined im roles which align directly to the responsibility of a particular user 
right let's say you have a particular user who needs to have full access on compute engine resources and full access on on cloud storage so you can go ahead and select compute admin and probably storage admin and give you know give these two roles to a particular user right but uh, see what it will ensure is that your user would be able to deal with compute and storage cloud storage but not with not with the other resources that's the good thing right so for example if i want i can go here to im right and i can edit this for this particular user and just you know let me let me remove this one which i had given earlier which was editor now i'll go ahead and instead i'll give a compute admin right so i've given compute admin and i'll go ahead and say save so now knowledgeindia.n at gmail.com this particular user has got compute admin role so we'll go ahead and try to check that whether uh, you know what's what's the what's the effect because of this change so let me go to my other window and here as knowledge india user i am currently operating in the in the vm instances or in the vm dashboard or compute engine dashboard i can go ahead and very well stop this particular vm all of that is working fine but what if i try to go to let's say cloud storage right within the same project now i want to go ahead and look at the uh, look at the cloud storage buckets which are available so if i go ahead and i see here actually i'm not able to see any buckets but actually there are buckets uh, in the app too right uh, let's check that whether we have it or not right so i'll i'll switch here and go to the go to the cloud storage and let's see probably we don't have it let's try to check that oh we do not have it no problem let's create a bucket and please see here i am creating it as cloud easy right so let's go ahead and create a bucket so that we understand this part properly so let's say i am creating a special bucket all right this is fine i want to keep it standard i'll go with default options at this point so i have created a bucket now in the app2 project right and of course that particular bucket would be visible here if i am logged in with cloud easy user here in my first window right now let me go here and i'll try to refresh this the knowledge india user should not be able to see the storage bucket that's that's the point right let's see whether it is visible or not so you can see immediately this error is started coming because there is actually a bucket but this user cannot cannot see that and that's why you are getting this error so i hope you are able to understand that how you can go ahead and select specific roles which are aligned to a person's requirement or to a user's requirement and just allocate those roles right so that was our predefined im roles but still there could be a scenario where even your predefined im roles do not fulfill the requirement and that's where custom im roles come into picture let's try and understand these custom im roles are created and maintained by the customer so which means if i am the customer i am using google cloud i'll go ahead and create a custom im role uh, you can choose specific permissions you can go to the fine grained level of choosing each and every permission as you want you know based on your requirement you can go ahead and select each and every permission while you are creating a custom im role and this really helps you to go ahead and implement the principle of least privilege right uh, to make this more understandable to you let's take an example let's say i want to go ahead and allow a user to view all the vms great the user should be able to stop and start the vms as well but i don't want to allow the user to go ahead and delete the vms now that's a tricky situation why so right if i want to go ahead and uh, basically allow the user to go ahead and do stop start 
I can probably look at giving compute admin, but there's a problem. If I give compute admin role, it includes deletion rights as well. Let me show you here. So we'll go to compute admin. If I go ahead and give compute admin, what happens? This particular role has got compute dot instances dot delete permission as well, which means the user will be able to go ahead and delete the VMs. So that's a problem. So how do we solve this particular prop, this particular issue? What we could do is if you just look at the first part of our requirement, allow user to view all the VMs. This kind of sounds like we can look at viewer, right? Basically compute viewer. Don't go for the normal viewer, which is the basic role. We have already told try to avoid the basic roles, right? So we'll go with compute viewer. Compute viewer allows a user or a principal to go ahead and view all the VMs. So one part is done. In addition to that, we just want to allow two more actions, which is start a VM and stop the VMs. So for those things, we can go ahead and write a custom IAM role. So let's go ahead and do that. What I'll do is I'll go here and I will go to roles and I'll go ahead and write a custom role first. So here we'll press on create role. So when you press on create role, the roles which you create, they are custom roles only because that's the only type of role which as a customer you can go ahead and create, right? So we are going ahead and creating a custom role. Okay, I'm gonna call it VM stop start, right? That's what I'm naming it. Um, we can change the ID as well. Let me try to put this. Okay, you cannot have, uh, you can have periods. All right, uh, you can choose the, uh, you know, launch a stage, uh, which is basically to tell in your organization that whether this particular role is ready to be used by everyone or probably it is there in the testing stage. So if I'm creating it new, I'll probably go ahead and keep it in the alpha state so that when people know that I'm just trying it out and don't go ahead and, you know, they don't go ahead and use it in the production environment just for that purpose, right? All right, so this is selected. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the permissions. So we'll click on add permissions and we'll try to search those two permissions, which are basically compute instances, start and stop, right? So let's try to do that. What we could do is we can search for compute here. And um, okay, well, this is just listing all the roles. Maybe I'll take other route. What I'll do is I'll search for this thing, right? And uh, because we know it, we will probably try to just uh, search it like this. Okay, makes sense. I'll go ahead and select this. This is fine. And the next one is uh, start. All right, so we'll go ahead and select this as well. And we'll say add. So now you can see these two permissions, compute instances start and compute instances stop. These two permissions are added here. We'll go ahead and say create. So this should actually go ahead and create a custom role for us, right? So what we'll do is we will now go ahead and we'll now go ahead and try to achieve whatever we have mentioned here. We'll go ahead and give compute viewer role, right? To our user and we'll give our custom role to the viewer uh, you know to our user and then we'll go ahead and test whether this particular requirement is fulfilled or not all right let's go ahead and experiment with our user once again which is knowledge india user so let's go to im section we'll go to knowledgeindia.n at gmail.com we'll edit this particular thing and we'll go ahead and remove this first i don't want this user to have compute admin what I want to allocate is number one, compute viewer. So let's do that. All right, so this is first one. And then other one which I want to give is basically VM dot. Okay, it's not appearing here. So I'll go to custom and select this. That way it is easy. So I've now allocated these two roles to my user knowledgeindia.n at gmail.com, right? These two roles are allocated and where is it allocated? It is allocated at the app to project level, 
right whatever is selected here with that you can understand that at which level it is allocated now what we'll do is we'll go to our other window right and we will close this one and let's look at the vm dashboard so if i click on vm instances okay so yep i'm able to go ahead and click on this i'm able to also probably click on this and see all the details yeah i'm able to see all the details so viewing is working fine um next thing is let me try to go ahead and start this instance right so start stop is something which i should be able to do so let me select this and i'll say start all right let's see if start works looks like it is working it is going through so this part is working fine right uh, good the other thing was that our user should not be able to delete the vm so try to guess whether this user will be able to delete the vm at this point or not the answer is this user cannot go ahead and delete the vm because this user is not granted that particular permission right we haven't granted compute instances delete permission to this particular user right we only granted two roles first one was compute viewer second one was the custom role in which we gave only start and stop permissions so let's try to go ahead and delete this vm so selected it i'll say delete let's see so it is trying to delete i mean it tried but immediately you can see you got an error you can see that it says you do not have that required permission you can go ahead and read this so that means we achieved what we wanted to achieve so i hope you understand here that with custom im roles you can go ahead and address such requirements right where you just want to allocate the the you know where you just want to go ahead and allocate the required permissions to a particular user where at that place you can go ahead and use custom im roles one last very important thing which we want to cover in this particular video is role inheritance and that's really really important so let's look at our organization here we have an organization and we have got two folders under that prod and dev and then under the prod folder we have got two projects app one and app two and then under the folder dev we have got another project which is called app one dev right and then we have got a couple of resources inside this so the way role inheritance works in google cloud is that the roles get inherited from the level above right so for example if you look at a particular vm let's say this particular vm is there so what all roles are allocated at the level of this vm that you can find out based on the fact that what all roles have been allocated to the level above it so above this vm you have got this project above this project you have got folder 1 and above folder 1 you have got this organization so if any particular role has been allocated at any of these levels right those things get inherited downwards to this particular vm right so you have to always remember this thing that wherever in your whole wherever in your google cloud hierarchy you go ahead and allocate a role or grant a role from that point downwards the role gets inherited right so what does that tell you it tells you that you need to be really careful that at which level you are going ahead and allocating the role for example if i want let's say if i want that i have a user called knowledge india and that particular user should have access to all the resources in project app 1 so in that case i should go ahead and allocate uh, roles to that particular user only on this project 1 basically only on this project app 1 level if i do a mistake and i go ahead and do the allocation of roles to this particular user knowledge india at folder 1 level it automatically means that now my user will have permissions or access to project app 1 and project app 2 as well because from folder 1 right it will get inherited to both of these projects right so that's something very important to understand i just want to show you this thing as well in the console so that you start understanding it very well now i want to show you this organization structure here which you are able to see it is exact replica of what i showed you here in the in the diagram right 
so you can see we have got our organization we have got two folders prod and dev inside prod we have got two projects app one and app two inside dev folder we have got app one hyphen dev all right so what we'll do is we will go ahead and now allocate certain rights at this folder level and i'll show you how that gets inherited to both the projects under that so in order to do it what we'll do is we will go here and we will select the folder so i'll go ahead and select the folder which is prod so as soon as you do that you can see here at the top the folder starts coming right and what i'll do is i'll go ahead and at this level i'll go ahead and do a grant access so i'm gonna type the username all right and i'll select a role you know we can select any role for that matter let's me go ahead and select uh, just to show you i'll select compute image user for example and i'll say save right now please see i have given compute image user role at this prod folder level and if we go ahead and now check the app one and app two project let's go to app two you will see let me make it bigger for you you will see that knowledge india dot in user now has compute image use image user role this particular role got inherited and got inherited from where from the prod folder that is mentioned in front if i pre if i try to edit here of course i can edit only those roles which have been allocated here at this project level i cannot do anything to this particular role right while i'm operating in app 2 project that's not possible so in the same way if i go to let's say app 1 project there also you will see this particular role will be inherited you can see here compute image user role is inherited and from where it is inherited that is mentioned here on the right hand side so this tells you that you need to be really careful while you are allocating a role at a particular level in your hierarchy so you have to select it really you, you know you have to be really careful while selecting it uh, just make sure that you understand this part that wherever you go ahead and do the allocation from that point downwards that role will get inherited to all the resources on uh, to all the resources downwards okay so i hope you get that point and with that we come to the summary of this video so what we try to learn here is that basic im roles are okay to get started but they are a strict no in the production environment don't go ahead and use them because they give rights to all the resources in the project that's the reason so don't use them in a production environment you can go ahead and use a combination of predefined im roles this is mostly recommended right and it should handle most of your scenarios but you might still have certain scenarios where you know where the predefined im roles are not enough and you want to give very selected permissions somewhere right to some of your users in such cases you can go ahead and create custom im roles but remember it will be your responsibility to update them regularly right you need to update them regularly so keep a check in your calendar for the same and the last one which i would like to say here is that roles get inherited from top to bottom right so you need to be really careful that at which level in your hierarchy you are going ahead and granting a role to a particular principal or to a particular user you have to ensure that you select a level which doesn't break the principle of least privilege right i hope you learn something from this video and you found this helpful if you want to learn more there are other videos on our channel which you can go ahead and watch and we'll meet you in the next one take care bye bye